What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another so rare video. It's rewards day, it's match day two, it's all kicking off, there's loads going on and we have got ourselves six rewards from the match day one and how good were they? Well, let's be real, they weren't great, right? I didn't have the best match day but we at least got some things. Uh, we started with All Star Limited and All Star Limited actually kicked off in sensational form for me. Jose Caro picked up 83.8. Ruben Vezo was on 97 points at one stage in the game. Then they conceded in the 95th minute, which obviously cost him 14 points, lost the clean sheet and the goal conceded. And he was on like 82 points. I was all right with that. 82 points from a centre-back. He won the penalty. is great. And then overnight, he lost 10 more points. He lost two tackles and with that, a double-double. And so he finished on 72 points. And then Davidson got a goal in a 3-0 win. So I was waiting on Matthias Vargas and Fran Marida to do bits. Unfortunately, Fran Marida went off injured in the 55th minute. He wasn't really having a great game anyway. And Vargas got 52 points in a 2-1 loss. Uh, Wu Lei scored again. And I've been really interested to potentially pick up Wu Lei. Um, I know there's like not a huge amount of games left in the CSL. But he's way too good for the league, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, he obviously was playing at Espanyol, playing in La Liga and doing all right. Maybe not this season, but definitely the season before he was scoring some goals. And so I think he's just too good for the Chinese league. And one of those guys I, I feel would just be an asset to have. Um, maybe he's not going to be getting the hundreds that Davidson's getting, but I think he'll be an asset. So I might go and pick him up at some stage or another. Uh, but we still finished 190th, which is spectacular. All-star rare. Again, Jose Caro started off really well. Davidson did really good. Blind just didn't do very good. Uh, you know, I don't know what's going on with him these days. Um, he, he, since I bought him, and man, when you look at the price I paid for him versus what he's worth now, I paid 1.4 ETH, also 1.7K. He last sold for just £600. I've lost like 60% on uh, Blind, which is pain, man. It's pain. However, I still believe in him. You know, he's only 32 years old. He's still got a lot of football left in him. Pina did okay in a 3-0 win, but I, I I bought Pina as a bit of a risk. Uh, Pina, I bought him just, just off the back of like these good games. And I did also, I had in the back of my mind, he's going to be one of those players that goes either way. He's going to be one of those players that continues to excel. But of course, he's 35. So he's also potentially one of those players that completely drops the ball and, and doesn't continue to excel. So he's getting like all right scores but not good enough and nothing major. So I have picked up two two new guys as well to kind of replace Pina. Ooh, oh, so red data. That's amazing. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful people. Um, But yeah, uh, what did I pay for him? Like 200 something, I think. 160 and he sold eight days ago for 130. His floor price now is 117. So, you know, it's not the end of the world, but... Uh, Oh, wow, I've just ruined my own reward for me there. It looks like I got posh as a reward then, guys. Um, but uh, we end up finished 106th, which isn't the end of the world. It could have been so much better, especially if Thomas Party did better. He actually had 42 points at the end of the game. What did they remove from him? I don't know what they removed from him, but he was... He's had a dual lost removed. Maybe he had a tackle or an interception removed. I don't know. But he was on 40 points. Um, I know it was against Portugal. It was always going to be tough. If Thomas Partey just did basically anything good, you know, look at that. We're nine points away from a tier two. We're 50 points away from that tier one. I didn't need much. I just needed something from Thomas Partey. Just showing up was good enough to get us a reward, so we're happy with that. My Global Cup was an absolute nightmare, right? An absolute nightmare. Um, Joshua Kimmich 61.4 Messi 81.9 Cancelo with conceding the two goals cost him almost 20 points Lloris conceding the goal cost him the clean sheet Musiala doing terrible for Germany just didn't go well my global cup so uh, there we go um, we then have international special Sif Wen tested bad Lewa missed a penalty Germany couldn't keep the clean sheet Messi did alright for us I don't know if we even get a reward from this no we don't um, and then the international special rare was always going to be bad because uh, Lafont and Hatate obviously won't be playing. Um, so what what signings did I make? Actually, one of my signings, I think, has just got either a goal or an assist. He's got a goal. Uh, so of the 
of the signings that I have just made. Where's my gallery here? Where's my transactions here? Is it going to give me all of my rewards here? Is it going to ruin everything? No. So I went and bought uh, Peter Zulj and I also bought Romulo. Now I bought Peter Zulj almost akin to Pina, right? In the last two games, he's got four decisives, an 80-pointer and a 100-pointer. Brilliant. Prior to that, he's not really played much since being at Changchun. But prior to that, he was in the Turkish League and he's actually played and done really well at uh, like, like second-tier European leagues. So he was playing for Anderlecht uh, in 2019 and doing well. You know, didn't get too much game time here, got an assist there, but then started getting 90 minutes for Anderlecht. Got assists here and there. Anderlecht, obviously a very good team. He got called up to the Austrian national team and sat on the bench for two games. Continued to play for Anderlecht before, and then two more uh, national national call-ups there, uh, before kind of getting dropped and moving to Goch Tepe, who are obviously the Turkish team. Goch Tepe, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe it's injuries, maybe it's his attitude. I don't know, but um, he was in and out of the team, didn't really succeed too much. Then he went to Istanbul Basak Sahir, where again, he was just in and out of the team and didn't really succeed too much. I'm hoping that, like, obviously there's something going on with the fact that he's getting in and out of the team. And this was definitely a punt from me. Like, and, and listen, this might ruin a lineup that we're going to have for this upcoming week. But I picked him up there for £95. He, like Pina, is going to be a guy that either goes off and starts hitting 80, 90, 100 points a game, or goes and continues this sort of like 20 to 40 points per game um like set up basically hopefully the former the other player that i bought and i feel like i overspent on romulo and you can see there the last sale prior was 530 i paid 744 and even further back be behind that we're at 357 and romulo is destroying at the chinese league and today i believe he's just been subbed off but today he's got another 89 points a goal and an assist um and there you go uh junji now has come on for romulo um but yeah a goal and an assist for him on 88.8 .8 points it's he he I don't, I don't i don't know who romulo is i can't even lie but he's just way too good for <laughs> this team right so even though i paid like 700 for him and he's only got what one two three four five six games left after the um oh no seven because this game is not part of it so he's got seven games left if, even if he continues this form here, brilliant. If he continues this form here, even better still. But this man is on form. He is on fire. And that's why I bought him, because Pina just wasn't cutting the mustard. And I wanted somebody who was in form and doing well. And Romulo was definitely that guy. So for this game week, um, I'll just show you my uh, lineups real quick right here. All-Star Limited, we've got Caro in goal again, Vezo in defence again, Marida, Vargas and Davidson again. Now, Marida went off injured, obviously, in that first game. I had a look. I, can't, I couldn't find any news if he was actually injured or not. So he is a DNP risk. Um, and if that's the case, that's the case. I didn't have anyone else available. My All-Star Rare is in a great spot. We've obviously started really well, Romulo getting two decisives. Davidson and Zulj are also potential decisive kings with like 80, 90 plus points. Jose Caro for Burgos. Man, like he, he'll concede the goal eventually since I bought him, but let's hope he keeps a clean sheet. And then Blind against Ecuador. I'm really, really hopeful that Blind does well because if Blind does well, I actually have the faith that this team has the potential to hit me that podium, that first place, or at the very least, that star. Now, obviously, the star's only into podium anyway, but I genuinely believe that this one has the potential to give me what I need. Uh, and to get me that big, big reward. We've then got an all-star rare pro team. This one is a bit of a hit and miss. Martinez, since he got injured, hasn't managed to get himself back into the team. So he got injured here in this game against Ternana. Um, he was had a shoulder issue, and so that was the injury, and so he didn't play against uh, Brescia. He then got on the bench against Regina, and I thought, okay, maybe he's still like harboring that shoulder injury, but he's all right if he's like needed to come on. But then against Como, he didn't come on either. He didn't play... So I'm a bit concerned, even though he's a low knee um, from Salzburg, no, from uh, Leipzig, um, even though he's that low knee, no, he's from Salzburg, yeah. Uh, no, he's from Leipzig, yeah, Le Leipzig, yeah, from Leipzig. Even though he's the low knee and he's there for one season to gain experience, I'm just concerned that he doesn't play again. So 
Um, Lovren should start, should do well. Klaassen, I'm hoping, will start after coming on for the Netherlands and scoring a goal in the, the last game. Or hopefully he gets his start against Ecuador. Kenya again, a bit of a hit and miss player, as we've discussed. And then Jose Calleon, um, finally bagged for Granada in the last game. Uh, has been a bit hit and miss. But again, another player that I think is just too good for the Spanish second division, uh, even at 35. So um, hopefully he'll do well. So that's a bit of a punters team in the All-Star Pro. And then Underdog Limited is also a bit of a punters team. Um, some of these guys don't play. They don't play well. I don't know if De Jong is going to start. Underdog Rare. Teto should play and start. Party should play and start. Otero should play and start. Ak Abkar, he came off injured uh, in the prior game. Uh, in this game here. He came off in the 45th minute. 45th minute. Um, where is he? There you go. Injured. So I don't know how bad that injury is. Again, I, I can't find any news on it. I don't know if he's going to be back ready to play. Says he's no known injury or suspension. But whether or not he's actually going to be able to play, only time will tell. But that's my lineups for this upcoming week. And of course, we do have um, our Global Cup locked in again. So if we have a look at the live Global Cup there, Messi, Musiala, Kimmich, Cancelo and Lloris. And we've also got the International Special, uh, which has got Noya, Sule, Messi, Lever again and Sifuentes. And then we've also got our International Special Rare. Now, of these five, it's very possible that four of them play. Hassal obviously won't, but Lariea started for Canada in the first game. I feel like Enzo could potentially start against Mexico with Argentina being all over the place right now. Vass against France, I feel like is a good good mark, but he did, I don't think he got on the field or maybe got 20, a few minutes in the first game and Jonathan David should, should start for uh, Canada against Croatia. So, you know, again, we're not looking for miracles here, but... Hopefully, hopefully these guys start. So with that being said, guys, let's see our rewards. Uh, we've got six rewards. We've got a tier three rare, a tier two limited, a tier two common. We've got the upper Ethereum uh, echelon, which is just always nice. Uh, we've got a tier three common and a tier two common from international specials. So let's open these ones first because these are the, uh, the new style cards, right? It's a Moroccan midfielder from, is that Empoli? We've got Abdelhamid Sabiri. And that is a rare midfielder. That's real cool. And obviously this one will be limited, which I think is green. So it's a Croatian forwards from, is that Hoffenheim? We get Kramar. Wow. Wait, is that rare? Oh no, that's, is that common? I'm confused. Why is, that looks like it's a common, so that might not be an NFT. This one must be my rare card. Uh, we've then got a tier three, a tier two common, I beg your pardon. This is Portuguese defender from Porto. It's going to be Pepe, isn't it? It is going to be Pepe. I don't mind that for my uh, national series common card. Yeah, this is an NFT. That's very interesting. We've got ourselves a tier two limited from All Star Limited. And that is going to be a Brazilian forward. Always nice. Alan Souza, only 25 years old. And then last but not least, now we obviously know now that we've got Posh here, don't we? Austrian defender. Um, now, Posh, I believe, is a starter for Bologna. He is. And he's scoring very well at the moment. An assist, a goal. A terrible in the 6-1 destruction from Inter. Great AA game and great points against uh, Sassuolo. Another one who has got game time for Austria as well. So he's obviously a quality, quality player. That's a good one to get. He's very cheap at the moment. Damn, his super rare is like very cheap at the moment. That's quite interesting. But yeah, just 25 years old and playing first team football here. He, he's an interesting one for me. Um, but that was it. So we've got card added to collection. We should have two now, right? Yeah, so we've got... Um, Abdelhamid Sabiri. It doesn't give a scarcity for the card, does it? But let's have a look. So it's Sabiri from Sampdoria. I don't know how to know what the... What's that little symbol there? One. Um, yeah, I don't know how to know 
what his value is. Yeah, see, here's the custom series cards. But surely some of they're not all the same, right? Oh, that's what the bronze, silver, and gold is. It's commons. Maybe commons. Maybe it's like rares, super rares, and limiteds. Interesting. Very interesting. I'll have to figure that out. We'll we'll go and uh, go and find some way to figure that out. But those are my rewards. How were your rewards? Let me know. It's nice to see all of this here. Kramaric is a decent one, especially if you can pick up his goal scoring uh, boots again. Although he'll only be eligible um, for certain events that so rare do for these national series cards. But Posh and Salza are good. Pepe potentially gets into my um, my five, especially if Portugal advance. He could be quite useful. I don't think he played in the first game, mind you. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So a good start uh, for me so far in All-Star with a 95 points Romulo. And hopefully I have a good game week. So uh, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to drop a thumbs up. You want to sign up to So Rare? Link is down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.